Color. Wondrous color. In a hobby filled with loads of vibrant choices, so many paint jobs just aren't. Today, let's change that. You're watching Caffeinated Miniatures. I'm Jared. Hey there, hobby friends. Grim and dark paint jobs certainly have their place, and I have absolutely nothing against them. However, after spending several days assembly line painting and assembling loads of blood angels, I wanted to have more fun with color. And these sculpts, Vicious Sid and Grub from the game Moonstone seem perfectly suited for some vibrant color. Moonstone is a whimsical, fairy tale inspired skirmish game and I absolutely love it. On top of excellent rules, it's absolutely full of glorious miniatures. And looking at all the armor on Vicious Sid inspired me to do something similar to the armor on the Lord Davicus bust. Effectively developing color in the shadows that doesn't necessarily correspond with the highlights, but contributes to more visual interest. To that end, I grabbed two Speed Paint 2.0 paints from the Army Painter and started applying them with the airbrush. First with Purple Swarm in all of the lower or more shaded areas, then with Plasmatic Bolt in more of a Zenithal method, primarily spraying from above to focus on the upward facing surfaces and the face. With Sid looking a bit colorful, I started painting his face, something I really wanted to pop. Now using color to bring focus to a certain area of a model is something that I tend to forget. Sure, I might highlight an area brighter to create contrast that way, but contrast through color is just something that always tends to slip my mind. Bright pale green from Pro Acryl really fit the bill here. It's bright, vibrant, and fun. Mixing in pale yellow created some nice contrast in the highlights. Sid's face is a tiny area, but it should really pop in the end. Before moving on to the armor, I painted up the cloth around the bottom. To create a cooler purple, I started mixing in some of that bright pale green into the purple, which looked pretty good, so I went with it. This cool purple fit in without drawing too much attention from the armor and the face, the real center points of this little fella. The armor is like 95% of this tiny model. I wanted to ensure I kept some of the color laid down with the airbrush, but still have it read as relatively shiny. So to keep it straightforward, I just used dark neutral gray and bright neutral gray. Starting with a dark mix, about three to one, then about one to one, finishing with a bright mix of roughly one to four. Then on his back, I didn't really add the bright mix, opting to keep it less shiny as though the light source, the sun, was mainly hitting the front, leaving the back in shadow. Then to juice it up just a bit more, I mixed some white in, applying it to the very brightest points of light. After wrapping up the sword and some of the smaller details, it was time to move on to grub. Grub here used to be a goblin, but kind of had a magical mishap with a book he probably should have been reading. Now he's more bug than goblin and has a lot of eyes, so painting him with vibrant colors just seemed fitting. After priming him in black, I sprayed him with a few thin coats of purple swarm from the Speed Paint 2.0 range. This step certainly didn't need to be done with an airbrush. You could really brush on any color you like. This was just pretty quick for me, and I particularly like this specific purple as a shadow color. Grub here needed a vibrant, glorious color for his skin. Enter in Pro Acryl Jade and Bright Pale Green, stage left. Starting with Jade, I covered all but the very deepest recesses and darkest shadows, like some of the creases in the lower face, and underneath grub. As I started to build the volumes and highlights, I mixed in some bright pale green, focusing on the upward facing areas that would catch more of the light. As I covered less and less area, I mixed in more and more bright pale green. With the final highlights being pure bright pale green, and primarily focused on the face.
With the skin looking nice and vibrant, I moved to the back of the mini and his shell. I really liked the contrast of the purple, so I decided to roll with it. I grabbed Pro Krill Purple, then mixed it in a tiny amount of jade, and started painting the shell with fine vertical lines. To build the highlights, I began mixing in some pale yellow, continuing to apply the fine vertical lines. Covering less area and adding more pale yellow, I built some texture and visual interest, creating a final product that I quite like. I decided the fur collar and the wings should be orange-ish, so I grabbed burnt orange and slapped it across them both. Then added progressively more pale yellow as I built some highlights. Nice and colorful without stealing the show. For the hat, I started with dark blue being sure to leave the purple visible in the deepest shadows. Then progressively added pale yellow once again. This gave the hat a slightly desaturated look that helped to draw the eye to the face and ultimately grubs many eyes. The bug sprayer and knife were painted using similar mixes as with Sid's armor. However, on the knife, I used more of a stippling motion, applying many small dots and lines to add some texture and interest. Finally, it was time for his many eyes. Grabbing yellow, I sketched thin lines around in a circle. Then mixed in a little pale yellow to add some tiny highlights and variation to these irises. After re-establishing the pupils with dark blue, I added tiny specular highlights with white. I built these bases to match the base of Doug the Flatulent, gluing down small, thin rectangles of XPS foam, then squishing a ball of aluminum foil into it to create some texture. Finally painting on some thin down texture paste. When that paste was dry, I first covered it in pale yellow, then slapped black Templar contrast paint on top. A quick dry brush of light gray, and some foliage, and we can call these tiny fellas done. Well, there you go, a couple of fun and colorful minis. So what do you think? Do you need to add more color to your painting life? Or are you pretty good with doing it already? Let me know in the comments below. And be sure to check out the awesome game Moonstone and all their glorious sculpts at the link in the description. If you like this video and want to help create more content just like it, hit that like button and subscribe. Cause hey, it's absolutely free. As always, thanks for watching. You are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one.